I want to return to the subject of the Joker sequel. Um, because what I'm hearing right now is a lot of, uh, a lot of negativity. Uh, and it's not that I'm saying don't be negative. I'm, I'm not like a, uh, the, the Joker, uh, uh, staff has not paid me to, to make this, this video. I'm not on their payroll. Uh, I, although I would happily be, um, but, uh, just because, you know, a little dough wouldn't be bad, but, uh, but I'm not, I'm not on their payroll. This is an independent, uh, uh assertion on my part. And I just want to say, <clears throat> make a couple of observations about the, uh, the kind of things that are being said right now with respect to, to the Joker sequel, which I will not try to, the, the subtitle, I will not try to pronounce until I know for sure how to pronounce it, because uh, otherwise I know I'll get people making fun of me, um, for mispronouncing it. Uh, so, so what I'm hearing is there are a lot of, uh, negative critical assessments of this movie. <sighs> well, okay. <laughs> Do you remember the first movie? Do you remember Joker? It, it, uh, I think it wound up having, um, more positive than negative reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, but not by a whole lot. I think it was something like 58% fresh. This is just me remembering, um, of course this was four years ago, five years ago. Uh, wow. Five years ago. Um, so, uh, so, you know, I, I, I might, I might be wrong about that figure, but they, the critics did not overwhelmingly like Joker at all. Um, in fact, many of them hated it, uh, you know, went into watching it with bad attitudes because they thought this is an incel film. You know, they, they were, they thought, you know, this is glorifying an incel, uh, you know, a straight white male, uh, character who's who's lonely, uh, and, uh, and, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's going to make all these incels get activated and start shooting people. And, uh, you remember the, the hype, you remember the, uh, the hysteria over the original Joker movie. Um, and I mean, I hope you do because I do. So, uh, so the, the critic, the overall critical response to the first movie was, was not, uh, um, not overwhelmingly positive. I think overall, as more and more critics saw it, that, you know, they had to probably, some of them had to grudgingly admit, yeah, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good movie. But, but a lot of them refused to even grudgingly admit that that was the case. And I heard, I've heard so many, you know, I, I could go on for ages about this, of course, because I was a big, uh, big fan of, of the first, uh, movie, the first, the, the original Joker movie, but, you know, I heard so many bogus takes on, on Joker, uh, like the, saying that, that it was, it was derivative because it was just copying, uh, Taxi Driver and King of Comedy, uh, which is, it's, it's, do people not understand there's such a thing as homage, you know, or homage, if you, if you want to say it less pretentiously, um, do people not understand that you can refer to certain, to certain earlier works, but take, but still have your, your own work, take things, uh, in its own direction. Do people honestly not get that? This is going to be a, uh, this is a literary reference that, that I, I don't know, might, might not resonate with everybody because you might not know what I'm talking about, but, but, um, when T.S. Eliot wrote his classic poem, The Wasteland in, uh, published in 1922, um, that poem makes reference to, uh, you know, a ton of, of, uh, prior, uh, poems and plays and stories uh, you know, it makes reference to Chaucer, it makes reference to Shakespeare, uh, makes reference to Alexander Pope. But, but I think, you know, anybody who, who read The Wasteland, uh, 
and came away saying, oh, this, this, this guy is just a hack because he's just copying these other writers, um, is, is a dunce, you know, or, or just being willfully hostile, uh, you know, willfully ignorant, I, I would say, because an, an homage is not, um, you know, to, to, to copy something is one thing to, to make it, to, to, uh, to refer back to something, uh, and, but still make it something new. That's been done a whole hell of a lot in, in art, um, of all kinds. So I really think that a lot of, maybe some of these people were just wanting, wanting to, uh, to be contrarian. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that, that you had to love Joker, the, the original Joker. You know, I, I loved it maybe a little too much <laughs> for me. You know, I loved it to, to maybe the, uh, um, um, uh, uh, what's the name? I loved it the same way that John, John Hinckley loved uh, Taxi Driver, reportedly. If that story is not apocryphal, but the, the allegedly John Hinckley watched Taxi Driver something like 50 times. Um, and it's what gave him his idea to, to try to shoot Reagan because he, he associated Reagan with the, the politician, the, the Palantine, the, the, the guy who was running for president and, and taxi driver who Travis originally tries to kill. He, he supposedly associated Palantine with, uh, with Reagan and, uh, thought that, uh, he, you know, he was trying to carry out the, carry out what Travis failed to do, failed to carry out in, in the movie. Um, I don't know whether I, that's even believable. You know, I don't, I know there's lots of, lots of hinky things about the, the Hinkley, uh, story, you know, not least of which being that he was, uh, part of a family who were good friends with the Bushes, fellow oil, uh, people. And I think his brother was, uh, was was scheduled to dine with his brother and uh, his brother's wife were scheduled to dine with the bushes on the the very evening when uh the shooting happened so so the family was the families were close i think there's plenty of evidence of you know mk ultra ish stuff happening around uh um, hinkley but but i don't want to dwell too much on that um uh, I've already gotten a little bit sidetracked here. My point is that uh, that I think the original Joker got attacked for all kinds of poor reasons. First of all, it got attacked because people uh, willfully misunderstood it, or just they just decided ahead of time that uh, that it was going to be uh, a, a, a terrible movie because they didn't like. Uh, what the, the kind of things that, that Todd Phillips was saying going into the movie, you know, but, uh, Todd Phillips had originally made comedies and he said, I can't make comedies anymore because people are always on Twitter getting offended. So, um, and, and so the people who were, <laughs> who, who, who were like that, the kind of people who would get on Twitter and get offended and try to cancel people, they, they got mad at, at, uh, at Phillips for saying that. Um, and of course, that included a lot of uh, a lot of people who were uh, a lot of critics, I would say. Um, so, uh, so, so I wouldn't say that critics disliking the sequel ahead of time is a, a sign that the movie is going to be bad. I would I would caution against trusting the critics uh, because look at the look at the original movie. Uh, look at the kind of critical reception it got. It did not, it did not, it, it by no means, uh, you know, was, uh, you know, fawned over by critics. Not at all. You know, audiences loved it, obviously, um, because it, it, it broke all kinds of records. And it was just this, the cinematic sensation. Um, it did way better than, anything than, than anyone ever predicted it would do. Uh, and it was the first R-rated movie ever to make a billion dollars, I believe. Um, recently, Deadpool and Wolverine uh, 
accomplish that feat. Uh, but before that, it, it was the first. Uh, didn't get a re release in China, like a lot of uh, American movies, uh, you know, big big budget American movies do. So there was no, it had no access to the China market. Still made over over a billion dollars after having been made for, you know, for what is by Hollywood standards, uh, you know, pretty pretty cheap. Um, and it looked great, you know, in spite of not not having the the, the most fantastic budget in the world. The money went in all the right places because it doesn't look like a cheaply made film at all. Anyway, uh, here's why I am opt optimistic about the Joker sequel being good. I'm optimistic about it because we've see, we see the return of, uh, of Todd Phillips uh, and of the writer, uh, what is his name, Silver something silver, I can't remember his first name, and of Joaquin Phoenix. So we've got this triumvirate who are all returning to this to this story. Now these, these guys don't seem like the kind of people who would just want to come back and cash in. Uh, I mean, you could say that Todd Phillips did that with the, the Hangover sequels. Yeah, that was a different Todd Phillips. That was the, the Todd Phillips of the, you know, the... Uh, the aughts and the early teens. Um, but I, I think, uh, you know, the, the Joker era, Todd Phillips does not take that approach, uh, to, uh, to this, this project. And I think, you know, the fact, especially the fact that Joaquin, uh, Phoenix is coming back. Um, whatever you think about Joaquin Phoenix, and I think he's probably a, a big pain in the ass, you know, I'm I'm not a Joaquin Phoenix defender or, or anything, but I think one thing that would that you would have to say about him is that he he's not into the cheap money grab. You're right. He would not want to return unless he felt like um, like they had something good. Like this was a story that, you know that that didn't need a sequel, uh, and I still believe that. It was it it was perfectly self enclosed. Uh, it could have just ended there, um, and that would have been that. And I think those that, that was the initial plans. There was no talk about a sequel until the studio said, "Hey, this movie really did pretty damn well." Um, and so I think they applied some pressure on the the uh, the makers of the first movie to come out with a sequel. But I think um, you know. They had a lot of leverage, so Phillips, Silver, Phoenix, those three guys, they had a lot of leverage. Uh, they didn't have to just make anything, make any crap movie that that uh, <clears throat> you know just just to just to cash in. Um, they they had uh, the ability to insist. Well, if if we're going to make a sequel, it's going to be on our terms. And that's why the sequel, the premise for the sequel sounds so bizarre, right? It's a musical, right? There's, there's, there, there are songs and, and uh, characters singing songs to, to one another in it, apparently. Um, and so that, that in itself, you know, makes a lot of people sort of scratch their head and say, what is going on here? What are they trying to do with that? Um, now... I, and I think that some people probably react negatively to Lady Gaga uh, being in this the second movie. Uh, that, that, that that's they think of that as a sellout or, or something, or they don't they don't like Lady Gaga because of her uh, you know her politics or or whatever um, you know. Uh, so or I, I you know and, and and as I as I've said in a prior video, I heard I have heard people say things like, "Oh, this is going to be another woke." Uh, kind of movies where uh, you know it's supposed to be about Arthur Fleck slash Joker, but really it's just going to all 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 going to be about the broad, you know, just like they did with the Mad Max movies uh, and you know twenty with Mad Max Fury Road, and like they've done with other things. It's, it's going to be this bait and switch, um, and it's and it's going to be called Joker, uh, uh, Joker Two or, or you know Joker uh, plus the the uh, the subtitle, but. But it's really going to be all about Harley Quinn, 
And that's, that's apparently not the case. Critic after critic has said Lady Gaga is great in this, but she's underutilized. We don't see enough of her. Uh, we see m- much more of Joaquin Phoenix. So, I think that whoever started that rumor um, is clearly wrong. And again, it's one of those things, it's one of those rage bait things that, that's so easy to get people to, to be angry about stuff. <clears throat> because there's been so much dicking around with people, uh, people's beloved uh, IPs. Uh, that's not a, a term I would have used until recently, but you know, intellectual properties. Uh, the, you know, all these, these movies that, that people loved, um, that ha- have been dicked with, you know, and, and made woke, uh, you know, and, and where they, where they make the male character, they de- de-emphasize the male character or they make him look stupid next to some new female hero, like they did with Indiana Jones, uh, and in that disastrous, uh, Indiana, latest in, in Indiana Jones movie. Or, or something else, or, or all the crap that uh, the Disney, all the ways in which Disney's ruined Star Wars. Um, there's plenty of reasons uh, to fall for rage bait, but I think that was rage bait because that's that's not the case uh, with this movie, um, based on what all you know, what critic after critic after critic has said, you know, about the story, and they wouldn't lie. I mean, they wouldn't have a reason to lie about that. So. I, you know, I haven't seen the movie myself yet, so I don't know for sure, but, uh, but it would seem that way. It would seem that this, that whole idea is, is wrong. And I've heard people say, oh, this is just, this, this is just going to be a movie that, that, that says the, the original Joker is meaningless and you're stupid for caring about him. And, but that doesn't seem to be, be that, that's not borne out from what the critics are saying. The critics are saying things like it's, it doesn't, uh, uh, whatever, whatever, you know, critical points they're making, it's not, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're not saying things like, uh, I mean, the critics would like it. They would like it if it was, if it was, uh, uh, you know, oh good. It's being so, so Todd Phillips is being socially responsible now. And he's saying, you know, the Joker that you liked in the original movie, he's somebody you shouldn't, you shouldn't like, and you shouldn't cheer for him. Uh, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't want to see good things happen for him, uh, because, uh, because he's just a, a terrible, you know, uh, incel creep. You know, that doesn't seem to be the case either. People aren't saying that about this movie. Um, so, and if, and if the movie were going that way, if it, if it had taken that route, um, then the critics would be liking it it would get, it would be getting overwhelmingly positive reviews and that would be a bad sign. The fact that they're not liking it. And in fact, I've heard people say, I've heard one critic say that, that it doubles down on the, all the things that he found uh, uncom- that he was uncomfortable with about the original movie. I was thinking right on, right on. That's a good sign. Uh, that's a sign that this movie, uh, is, is on the right, the right, uh, track to quote Lady Gaga. Um, <laughs> so, I, you know, uh, uh, but anyway, I, I think I've begun to, to say, talk about Lady Gaga. Um, you know, I, I think Lady Gaga is a, is a good performer, um, a, com- a compelling performer, um, and a, a good actress, and I think she has shown that even though from time to time She's said things that were woke, and and uh, uh, and from time to time, of course, she's you know flashed Illuminati symbols and and done this or done that 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 makes people think that uh, you know she's she's uh, part of this corrupt uh, uh, musical industry, and that may or may not be true. I don't know. Um, you know, I've I've always sort of liked her as a performer. I've always thought she was talented. I always thought that, that her, her persona was, was sort of compelling. Um, I've always enjoyed, uh, uh, her music and I've, I've liked watching her in movies. I thought, um, in, uh, uh, the movie, what was it? 
the one she was in with with Adam Driver um, a couple years ago, uh, House of Gucci. I thought she was really good in that, and and uh, I thought, uh, you know, I thought it, it definitely was not a, a, a performance where she was trying to take this character who was uh, villainous, who, who who had done some bad things, or or who who had. <coughs> Uh, plotted to to do some really bad things. Um, the movie didn't try to make her look like, uh, you know, didn't do the woke thing and try to say, oh, she's just she's just a put upon woman. Uh, she's just misunderstood. Um, so, and and you know, she's uh, Lady Gaga has worked with with people who are uh, who are very non woke. Um, so. So I don't think the idea that Lady Gaga being in this movie is going to make it woke. I don't think that's I, I don't think that's a, a thing to worry about. And I haven't heard them saying anything like that. Um, so all this is to say, I I think this movie will be good. I still am I still am confident that it will be good. Now, will it be as good as the original? Probably not. My guess is that it probably won't be as good as as. Uh, as Joker, the, the the first Joker, um, but I'm confident that, that 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 it will be good, and I'm I even have a lot of faith that it will be very good. Uh, I don't know how to how to predict uh, how it will do at the box office. There's people talk, talking now about how ooh the the box office projections for for the 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 Joker sequel aren't looking great. I don't know why it's like people want this movie to fail or they're, they're, they're gleeful over the notion of this movie failing. And these include, you know, people who are uh, against the, the, all the woke shit. Um, there seems to be, they seem to have turned on Joker for some reason. Um, or some of them have, they, they seem to be talking about, you know, they, they seem to be finding reasons to say, Oh, well, this movie is not going to be any good. This movie's, uh, going to be bad in this way or it's going to be bad in that way it's going to be disappointing in this way or that way and, and it's going to tank um so i don't know i think uh predicting uh, what what kind of uh bank this movie will make you know it, it's probably I, I would guess that it won't do nearly as well as the original joker because i think already some people aren't aren't so sure about this whole musical notion. This Joker is a musical. Uh, they're, they're, they're like, what? I don't get that. Even though I think there's some precedent for it. I mean, we, we, uh, um, in the original, you know, Joker, uh, was said to Todd Phillips said that Joker was somebody who had music in his soul. And there's the famous, you know, dance on the dancing on the Joker steps, uh, and I was I was uh, very fortunate to walk those same Joker steps uh, when I was in in New York a couple years ago. You go back and watch that video uh, of me ascending the Joker steps. Um, so, so I think the original already had this. The, you know, and, and and he makes reference to the song Carnival, uh, and there's lots of other you know music. It takes there are lots of musical cues. There's the put on a happy face. Uh, thing, you know, which they don't sing, but, but it is a song. Um, so yeah, so I don't, I don't know if people will take to it. Uh, but it seems like the, the, the triumvirate who made this movie, who are the same, the same three guys who made the first movie, who had creative control over the first movie. Um, I trust that they have something interesting to say, I trust that they have, that they will take the story in an interesting direction because their instinct was so on with the first movie. Um, and the first movie was so uncompromising in being what it was, in spite of the fact that, uh, you know, there were all these naysayers and, and like the, the, uh, who was it? Some branch of the military said, gave some warning that, the, oh, the incels are going to be activated by this one. You better, you better be careful. You better have some good security for, for, uh, for this, this movie, because, uh, you know, these, these dangerous incels, they're going to go out and 
and uh, wreak all kinds of havoc and didn't happen much to their probably much to their disappointment um so so yeah despite all of that they stuck to their guns they made the movie that they made it's not easy to make a movie that that uh that refuses refuses to uh to bow down to uh what the the powers that be want it to be and you know they they didn't and they made the movie that they wanted to make um and i think the next i think the the joker sequel will also uh you know will show that same i'm 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 confident that the, that the that the joker sequel will follow in those in the footsteps of uh the original i think it will be likely uncompromising uh you know it'll be fiercely whatever it is um and i think whatever it whatever it is will be good so that's my those are my thoughts about the joker sequel let me know if you agree or disagree below it and uh, tell me why or why not